Today in our 2016 Ford Fusion, we're doing a test fit of the Swagman XC2 platform style 2x rack. That part number is S64650. Now we already have our bike secured down, first we're going to show you how we do that. Here in the center we have our frame hook which is really going to hold our bike down into our wheel cradles. It's going to keep it very stable and give you a smooth ride with your bike. We'll just squeeze that, move it out of the way, then we can take our bike off and we'll set it off to the side. With that out of the way, we can take a few measurements. First is going to be overall what we're adding to our vehicle. It's going to be about 18 and a half inches. Our ground clearance to the bottom of our bolt is going to be about 12 inches. Our closest point looks to be about 5 inches away. And from the center of the hitch pin hole to our closest point, we're going to have about six and a quarter inches. Now we do have the option to rotate our mass down here. We're going to just remove our pin in the center, rotate that down, out of the way, reinsert our pin. Then we're going to gain full access into our trunk to get anything in or out that we may need. So what's great about this is that even though we might be able to gain it with our mass still up, we're going to be able to pull out larger items that might be too big to pull out over the top of our mast. For our second position, we're going to put our mast back in its original position. Just like so. Then we'll remove our two pins on either side. And you may need to move the hooks out of the way just to line up our pinholes. And this position is great for storage. We call it the suitcase position. So you can put it inside a storage unit or even in your garage. It doesn't take up a lot of space. As for our hitch, this works with both inch and a quarter and two inch hitches. We're using it on our inch and a quarter today. It also comes with an anti-rattle bolt and clip, so it's going to keep a lot of the shake and play out of the bike rack as you head down the road. And that's going to be our completed look at the Swagman XC2 platform style 2 bike rack, part number S64650, on our 2016 Ford Fusion. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. And finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.